Greetings and welcome to the RC Wallet Vacuum Channel. Today I'm going to try to tra tackle the issue with the mounting of these energy tracks on this Roman 450 XLT and I think it applies to any kind of a Lozy 5T based clone, which this apparently is. Um, they sit at the, the, the fronts ain't too bad, they sit fairly flat, but they don't oscillate. So there's, I got two issues with the tracks on the, the way they mount. Number one is on the rears, they just sit pitched way too high. And then on all four tracks, fronts and backs, the, uh, they don't oscillate. I mean, there's, there's basically no movement in those, those anti-rotation shocks. So I'm hoping to take and correct the, uh, the rears first and take care of getting that angle corrected. I mean, this one's sitting probably at around, yeah, upper teens, around 20 degrees or so. And there's, uh, they do not rock back and forth, other than some play, but they, uh, they do not give. So if you're going over sticks or through rough terrain, you're not going to get them to oscillate. So what I'm going to try to do is get them sitting down, these bogies flat, or, or slightly, slightly uh, tilted up, uh, up a little bit. But I want to be able to have it, have it so it can, uh, when it hits a stick or a uh, rough terrain, it can actually pitch up like that and then it's come back down. And I want to take care of that in the back first. So I'm going to try to correct it with a, a combination of either modifying or re uh, building a new anti-rotation arm in there. And then doing something with their, uh, their anti-rotation shocks. Their, uh, I don't know, maybe try to change the spring on that or something like that. So for those who are looking to, to uh, replicate this uh, for your own your own setup, what I'm going to try to do is kind of get some of this, this spring off of here to, to cut down on how much uh, it takes to compress this thing so I can get some oscillation out of it. And then I'll deal with making a new one of those to compensate for the for the uh, the angle that it has. It's going to probably have to come out to, it's going to probably have to be lengthened probably that far out. But anyhow, back to this. Uh, I'm going to come off where they got this flat grind. I'm going to come up to this uh, third one right here, try to get an angle cut across that. And then the theory is to get it in there so you just have to slightly compress the spring to assemble it. And then the spring tension will hold pressure on the cap and this tensioner here to uh, keep it from vibrating loose. And I want to do that so I can play around so, so I can find the actual spring rate I need. And I'll replace it with a proper ground, ground spring. But I'd like to try to stick with these shocks and just modify. That little, the little bit of movement they got in that is going to be enough, to, I think, to get the oscillation I need. So if I can get, get the spring situation corrected so that this, this shock can actually move in and out, and then it's just a matter of uh, replacing one of those. So I'm going to get the cutting and uh, see how that works. So over here I have the, uh, the original anti-rotation arm. I'm going to extend it down about a half inch, about down uh, maybe around there. I'm going to keep the same geometry they got there, other than obviously that length, and redo the hole they got there. That was something that's up with that. Uh, that should give uh, enough enough distance there to drop the front of them tracks down and get it pretty close to horizontal. And maybe that'll change the leverage point a little bit too. And it'll have a little bit better effect on moving those, uh, compressing those shocks. Although it might go the other way too. So, well, off to the saw in the mill and get started on that. So I got the block cut, uh, but I got to take off uh, a little over a tenth of an inch off the off the uh, the, the, the depth of this thing or the height of it. And uh, then once that's done, I'll put it back in the saw, cut off the shape, got it kind of marked off there now, and then uh, put it back in the mill, finalize it a little bit, put some holes in it, tap it, and see how how it works. So I got the part roughed in on the saw. I'll go back to the mill and straighten that up. 
some straight edges on there, smooth it off, and then I got to put a uh, drill and tap a hole through there, five millimeter point eight, and then I'm going to put a hole through this face here for that shock mount. So I use a ball and mill to try to put that radius down in that in that corner. So part's done in the mill with the the, uh, the milling of it, anyhow. And you can see it had to be ex expanded quite a bit. So I just uh, put a couple holes in it and be ready to test it out. So I got the part fitted up in there and it does drop the uh, tracks back real well. Uh, I am going to have to go through and put a little ledge, cut a little ledge on here to lower this uh, nut down in here to make sure I clear this hex nut and this little plate inside here. And the other thing too now with the spring being adjusted and the leverage changing, that's, you can actually flex these tracks now and they will roll over terrain. And you don't get that with a uh, stock ones with that tight of spring. But as you can see, there's been a huge change in how they sit now. That's the, the new the new uh, the new arm, and like I said, you got nice 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 flexing going on in there. Now over here, it looks like it's uh, sitting on the launch pad, ready to take off the space. And there's uh, this is still the original setup, and there's no you cannot get that to flex at all. That spring will not compress in there. So. That actually ends up working out really well. I'm actually pretty happy with that. So I, now I got to do something in the front. So I'll probably do the same thing. I'll just take and pop them springs out and cut them springs down or, or, or probably replace them with new ones once I figure out what it is. And the mount is up there is fine. The anti rotation mount's fine. It was just this back one. So this is definitely what I was shooting for. It's just sitting this flat. Uh, the, the, my issue is uh, I, I want the most contact that I can on these from the snow because that's what this is going to be running and to get the flotation even though in theory when they're tilted like this it would sink in and get more uh, contact with the snow eventually but in the meantime you've already set your chassis down into the snow quite a way so I prefer to try to stay up on top as best as possible and let the front track cut a little trail through there. And the other thing I think is critical is that the uh, those tracks can flex and go over top of terrain and sticks and whatever else you happen to run into. So I am going to take and finish, I got to make the other side yet and then uh, get it all locked tight a bit together. I'm hoping tomorrow to have some video up in the woods track with it in the snow and then uh, I'm also hoping to get some POV video off this thing too. The last time I tried it the SD card crapped out in the GoPro so I got a, a new card in there. So I'm hoping to have some uh, POV video of this thing too running there. And then uh, come uh, warmer weather I'm going to pull those parts off there and, and set up an anodizing system back here and so if you're interested in seeing anodizing we'll do that later this year on those parts I won't be able to match that red but I might try it Now, if anybody is interested in converting your vehicle, your low Z clone, Rover, whatever you got, to use these tracks and get them set down in here right and get some flexibility, just give me a note in the comments and I'll let you know when I find out what that spring uh, number is for the Master Car Spring. And uh, I'll, I'll give you that. And then uh, if you want the dimensions of that new anti rotation arm I made in there, um, I'll give you the dimensions on that. In the meantime, thanks for watching and be looking for some uh, POV video of this thing coming soon.